Hey, hey guys, I am back with another video and today I am going to be sharing the behind the scenes setup of one of our most memorable indoor date nights. I got so many messages and so much love when I shared this over on Instagram, so I am excited to be able to share it with you because guys, it was super inexpensive and just all round the perfect indoor movie night with your bay with your family your girls listen if you are a parent you can't find a sitter and you still want to you know spice things up with your partner when the kids are in bed this is it so let's dive in on how to create your own indoor magical vibes date night or movie night tent so first things first, I grabbed two lightly colored bed sheets. Now you will end up poking a few holes in these if like myself, you are doing this in a room with a carpet. So these are pin sized holes. They're super, super tiny and barely noticeable. But that being said, I would opt for your not so fancy sheets for this because it is a DIY situation. Next, you want to attach your sheets onto a fixed and mounted curtain rod or some sort of feature you have that's relatively high up so that you can really achieve the triangular tent shape that we're going for. To secure the sheets onto the curtain rod, I used some really strong elastic bands. So if you don't have these, this is something you probably wanna grab. And then what I did was for each individual sheet, I grabbed a small amount of the sheet, I wrapped the elastic band around it. I know you can't see it in the clip right now, but I wrapped the elastic band around it so it was relatively secure. And then with the remaining space that the elastic band has, I tied that and attached it to the rod. It was definitely a, a very DIY way about it, but it is easy and it worked and I know and I trust that you guys will figure it out. Also worth mentioning, I tried my best to ensure that the shorter lengths of each sheet were actually in the middle and the longer lengths of the sheet would extend the furthest forward. So as you can see, you wanna get that tent-like shape. The back of the tent will have the shorter sides and the front of the tent will have the longer sides. Once both of the sheets were nice and secure, it was smooth sailing from then on. I grabbed some pins. Guys, these are my wig pins, but <laughs> you can use absolutely any strong pins, but these are really strong actually. And these are the pins that I use to secure my wig onto a mannequin head when I'm trying to style it. So you wanna grab some strong pins and then just do your best to create a tent shape. So I put the pin through the bed sheet and then secured the pin into the carpet. After this video, I did redo the placement of the pins so that it really, really was that perfect or near enough perfect shape, but I didn't manage to capture that on the video, but you guys can see the photo of just how amazing it looked here. Last but not least, I grabbed the fairy lights that we use for our Christmas tree. Let me tell you, when I said this is inexpensive, I really meant it. We are repurposing around here. And I draped these around the tent using the curtain rod to also help with this. And that was it. Come nighttime, the living room was transformed. It was so, so beautiful. I prepared our date night snack board using some camembert cheese, which we baked in the oven with some garlic. We had strawberries, popcorn, grapes, buttered crackers, chorizo, Nutella to dip the strawberries in, some homemade chicken wings, vintage cheddar, and some sourdough to dip into the camembert. We watched a movie, we chilled out, and it was such a nice time. So that is it guys. I really hope you've enjoyed this. If you have and you want more of these videos, do let me know, give this video a thumbs up. And better yet, if you plan on doing this, let me know too. Let me know, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and speak to you all soon.